Ah, Hogar, legendary Hogar, a knoll of myth and a knoll of legend. Let's take a look at his story, his patch changes, and all the info we can find. But before we do, as always, a quote from the knoll chieftain himself. <laughs> Hogar is an elite, a Riverpaw Knoll chieftain in southern Elwyn Forest. There is a quest near his encampment in the form of a wanted poster, offering a reward for killing him from the Westbrook garrison in Elwyn Forest. Hogar himself is an indirect agent of the Defies Brotherhood, along with the rest of his Riverpaw tribe. Hogar has a reputation as a very dangerous foe, mainly because he is one of the first elite mobs a human character will run into. And so, new players will sometimes, unknowing what the elite dragon portrait means, underestimate him and get themselves killed very quickly by attacking him solo. For most classes he can be soloed pretty easily and about level 14, although a lower level hunter or warlock can more easily solo him using their pet or void walker to tank. Players below that level should probably form a party for an easier time. Another way you can solo him is by kiting him to the nearby tower and let the two guards kill him for you. Although that seems like an easy strategy, you must do most of the damage however, because if you don't, before the guards get him, you will not be able to loot him. Because his camp is filled with lots of other gnolls, kiting him all the way to the tower without losing him so that he runs back to his initial position and without pulling other gnolls, this may not be an easy task. He was one of a very few elite mobs who kept his elite status after patch 2.3. In Wrath of Lich King, Hogar is a memory in the fight against Argent Confessor Paltris in the Trial of the Champion encounter in the Crusaders Colosseum. This was introduced in patch 3.2.0, Call of the Crusade. In Cataclysm, Hogar as a mighty and famous leader of the Riverpaw Knolls, now has his own hill named after him, Hogar Hill. Getting him too far from it will cause him to reset. After being defeated, he is arrested and taken to the stockade in Stormwind City by General Marcus Jonathan and High Sorcerer Andromath. Have you heard of the term Hogar Raid? A Hogger raid is where many level 1 characters attempt to kill Hogger by overwhelming him in numbers. This was done many times in the past, as a minigame, a side challenge, or just to pass some time, albeit in an organized manner. Hogger is also used as a joke when it comes to where loot drops. Many people will jokingly say that items such as ATH, Great Staff of the Guardian, and Thunder Fury Blessed Blade of the Windseeker are rare drops from Hogger. He doesn't have any special loot, however. Hogar is also often compared to other endgame raid bosses when it comes to difficulty. It has become a staple inside joke of the player base, just like Gammon on the Horde side, Murlocs, Mancrick's wife, Chuck Norris jokes, and good old Baron's chat. In Hearthstone, Hogar has the title of Scourge of Elwyn, and is defeated by Jaina Proudmoore and imprisoned in the stockade once again. And finally, to end this video, did you know that he has exactly 666 health? This is true at least for Classic or Vanilla WoW. I don't know if this applies to any other expansions too, of which I couldn't find any info. So we can safely assume that Hogar is in fact the devil. I will let that sink in. Also, during the BlizzCon 2009 live raid by the raiding guild Premonition, the final boss they fought was a level 80 heroic version of Hogar, which they were unable to defeat. Since Wrath of the Lich King, all kinds of different stats are being tracked, including deaths to various things like certain mobs, lava, drowning and so on. One of these things being tracked is the amount of deaths because of Hogger. And finally, at BlizzCon 2017, the cosplay competition was won by realistic, full body cosplay of the Knoll, the legend, the one and only, Hogger. And that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this short video, if you have any topic or character suggestions, feel free to let me know. Thanks for listening, and I will see you next time.